we opened up um, this time where anybody could come speak to anything. Um, never heard anybody that's running for an office come before council and attack, attack anybody, let alone you know, a sheriff. Um, the, the information that you presented last month had not been presented to council, had, had been presented to our county administrator and the sheriff's department and our administration were working towards presenting that information to us in next year's budget session, or we could take it and hear it. Nothing was hidden from us. We didn't even know the seven council members didn't even know there was a study done. For you to come before council in the people's chambers tonight and attack in a campaign just irritates the ever-loving hell out of me. And you know, this information that you, that you presented last month and again referenced tonight in a political fashion, and it was being taped by your wife, I saw it, to put on your Facebook page, is wrong. That information was two years ago. We've had two salary increases for our deputies, along with every other employee in this room that happens to be an employee of Spartanburg County. So your information's old, it's outdated, it's not correct, it's not finalized, and I resent you coming before council and attacking the sheriff, the sitting sheriff, and presenting information to us like we have, we were derelict in our duties. You, you make a comment about Benghazi is similar to you know, the uh, ambassador there. You're, you're saying that we have left the citizens of Spartanburg unprotected, which is totally wrong. And I resent you doing that. I don't take this job lightly. I take an oath every four years to protect the citizens of this county. And we do it, and I do it, and I take it. Mr. Brent, how long do you think I'm going to stand here and let you dress me down, sir? Well, you just did us and the sheriff. Have I, done, I did not talk to you like you're talking to me. Well, you, you have already... You, you have already talked. You have already threatened me and my family's okay. reputation. And I, now you want to call me out in front of all these people in this council room. Is that uh, correct? Uh, do I get a chance to respond uh, to what you, you just came said? Before the council, you attacked the sheriff who's not even here. You came to talk about things and you attacked and you just use this three Mr. minutes. Mr. Britt, the information I gave you is from January of this year. And as far as you brought the matter up about me scaring you in June, I have a witness in my conversation to you. It was nothing but nice. I was totally nice to you. There was a gentleman the last month that sat there when I talked to you. If you're afraid of me when I talk to you nice, you need to be talked to like this. You need to take you're not, There's no need for you to talk to me like you're doing right now, Mr. Britt, in front of all these people. You it's uncommon. Go out that door if you don't like it. Is that the way this is ran, Mr. Chairman? That he calls down a citizen in this county like this in his chamber room? No, sir. But You, and that's exactly what I stated. I stated in what I read, it's right here, that now, that information was not shared with you in January. That information was, was gave to the state. Sheriff's Office in January of 2016. You did not know anything about it. I was refused that information two times on FOIA request, twice. So it's leaked information to you. Why don't you why don't you meet with the sheriff and talk to him about that? Don't come in here and make a political. I talked to the sheriff that. last week and, and offered him that same thing. I've yet to get a phone call. That's between me and him, Mr. Fred. Well, don't come before the council and take up our time and make accusations that he can't. I was a lot this time. I asked for it. I got it. I wouldn't give him any, give him any restrictions on what it was to be about. When you did said, I violate the, did I violate the policy as to what that three minutes is for, Mr. Britt? When you said that it's just like Benghazi, you put me in that. You didn't. You weren't just attacking the sheriff. Then you were attacking me and the seven, the other six council members here. How long will you let go, that. Mr. Britt? I can sit there and take most anything. But when you start saying that, you're going to get it back from me. Well, good. I hope you understand. You're not. You hadn't got some schoolboy up here that you're going to dress down either. Well, if you were scared from my conversation in June. Where I asked you to come Mr. To Britt, office and I've got a family. I have got a family that's got a different attitude about somebody making a threat than I do. I'll assure you. I ask that. you to come to my office and have lunch is a threat. Okay, Mr. Britt. Is there anything else, sir? Any reasonable questions or anything I'd be glad to address? It? No, I don't have any questions of you. I just want to make a statement. And the people out here deserve that. You got up here and you made a three minute political speech and attacked the sitting chair. Was there, the that he did not Mr. Britt, is there a the problem family? with the topic that I talked about? I was given these three minutes. I was not given any guidelines. I didn't get called down the last time. Why, is I, why am I called down this time? I don't understand, Mr. Britt. I didn't know anything about the survey last time. It was a two-year-old survey based on, or old survey based on, a survey based on two-year-old wages. 
And you knew it. Yeah, that's right. And the hole has got deeper you make since it then. Look like it's so the hole has got deeper since then. That's just another dollar figures added to it since the two years old figures. That's what the association of the county had when Cat, you know, the Dr. Brady had done that. That's the number she referred, not me. You got your medicine that you dished out. Right. I, I don't like that either, Mr. Brill. Yeah. 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 Y